Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Roberts. This is my new channel, True Divine 44. Um, I'll be building up this channel with general tarot readings month to month, sign for sign. I'll also be playing within the months with different formats, different kinds of readings, shorter readings, just to see what people like, see what people need, just have a bit of a play with it. So this reading is for, it's the general reading for the lovely Capricorn. Um, so if it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, just leave it for somebody else. Parts of the reading might resonate with you and other parts just might not mesh. With it being a general tarot reading, just take what's good for you and, and ignore the rest. So you've sort of been coming up to this month, this January, with um, a lot of things going on in that, you know, you've, you've got such success on one hand. Um, but there's been this underlying niggle, this thing that, you know, you've sort of felt but haven't wanted to really process or haven't wanted to really look at subconsciously. Um, but there's been this this path that sort of um, squeezed and wedged you into it being very necessary um, to take action and, and look at the situation that's been niggling at your subconscious, um, something that you need to let go of, something that you need to let go of the guilt about, um, maybe misplaced guilt, maybe some sincere guilt, um, but you know, something that um, ultimately needs to be let go of you for your greater good and for the greater good of those around you. So there's this bravery, there's this patience and giving yourself time and space to face something that, that you know, has may prove to be a little bit of an obstacle or, or upsetting at, at that. But, you know, there's this growth from you looking at this situation. You can definitely hark back to the past where you've had either similar experiences or experiences that were totally different but have made you grow in ways um, to retain a skill set that will be really valuable in this month also. So you know you've got the, the tools on the table to be able to see your way through this and see the loved ones around you through this in the most appropriate way. You know, you have a real balance of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine within. Um, you might come across very masculine if you're a male, um, but there's and that's, there's that bravado there, but you know, and that um, cheek and humour there. But ultimately, inside you are of great harmony, great balance. Um, you 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 work in harmony with your divine feminine, your divine masculine. You can dip in and out. And also for a female, if this resonates with you, you may come across uh, as well, very cheeky, very humorous, um, a lot of bravado, but, you know, um, and very, very feminine. But, you know, you too have that um, hidden masculine side, hidden until you need it, that you can pull out of the bag when when the time calls for it. So, you know, you do have this um, inner knowing that, Yes, it might be something that you've avoided to face. Yes, it might be something that isn't comfortable to face. But you do have this inner wisdom, this knowledge that you have the divinity to see your way through this in the best possible way. It, everything about you is balanced. You know, even in your work life, you, you make decisions, you move obstacles. Um, and there has been quite a few obstacles to overcome in your work life, things to organise, things that haven't gone right first time. But, you know, you've you've done them. And through that experience, again, there's lots of growth there. Um, there's lots of knowledge and wisdom there, higher wisdom. So there is this younger person in your life, whether it's a, a son, a daughter, I'm swaying towards daughter, um, whether it is a niece, a nephew, but somebody you love dearly who is a, a young soul and they are um, they're a bit of a risk taker. They're very, very likeable, very attractive um, personality wise. But, you know, they, um, they do take risks and even for their young age, they're still 
that bit more immature than some others of their age. Um, they're very adventurous and uh, looking for the next adventure all of the time. You know, there's news coming in about this younger person and I feel that this reading centres around this younger person and this being the, the subconscious niggle that you've had that you haven't wanted to quite face or quite see the truth of. Um, but there's, there's again this um, needing to move on from where you're at. I think there very definitely could be a, a very difficult but very um, uh, sensible decision being made that you know this young person has to experience life without so much molly coddling um, and maybe has to move out of the family home for some time. And that takes a lot of strength on your part because as I, as I feel, there's so much compassion there, there's so much nurture in there. Um, again, whether you're an auntie, an uncle, a mum or a dad, there's, there's that love and compassion and, and protectiveness there. Um, but again, this wisdom comes in and you know that it's not all about protecting and controlling um, the storyline for the young people in our lives. It's sometimes about letting go and um, letting them experience responsibility and letting them experience their own skill set and develop their own skill set through being let go a little bit out of the family home, out of the, the nest, so to speak. So, you know, there's that, that decision pays off. It does pay off in that there's a much more balanced family home um, if you go with that decision you know there's a much more harmonious environment maybe for the younger siblings of this young person um, there's new relations coming in there's definite support coming in and I can definitely see if this resonates with you this young person actually has a, a somebody coming in that actually even you trust of a similar age um, of a similar personality type, but just with that little bit um, more maturity, um, that little bit more wisdom and, and balance, that, that will be a good influence um, and that relationship should be encouraged and nurtured. Um, with this young person, it's screaming out to me that there's addiction, in particular cocaine. I keep hearing cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Um, you know, the risk-taking aspect of them, they've gotten themselves into a bit of trouble and they've gotten to like it that bit too much. Um, the party lifestyle, um, you're not quite knowing the full um, circle, you know, who they hang with, who, they, who they're who um, taking the lead from. Um, and this is where maybe this misplaced guilt comes from on your part in that you feel you maybe should have noticed this sooner um, because things do sort of come to a head with this addiction and um, with this risk-taking um, lifestyle this this wanting to live on the edge for this younger person um, so that it does sort of come to a real head we have the um, death card and the tower card um, and this you know, frivolous, um, dangerous um, behaviour of this younger person, uh, you know, does sort of come to a head where, you know, things are made screamingly apparent, you know, really, you know, it's not just lift by the moon anymore and the subconscious niggle, it's, um, it's, it's screaming out to you that, all right, okay, this is how far this has gone. This is how much this has been affecting you. Um, and it is affecting the family home. And I think that's where this um, need to, for this person, this younger person to be removed from the family home might come. Now that sounds extreme, that might sound cruel, but as far as this reading goes, it seems that, um, Part of your guilt also might be that you feel like you've been facilitating this too much in that, you know, you look after their needs, the, you know, they're fed, they're watered, there's the roof over their head, they've got their money to spend 
um, because they're not having any um, financial responsibilities. So they have had this money to spend. There, there's maybe been enough of an excess of money to um, get into this trap of liking. It could be other addictions, but I'm hearing cocaine too much. Um, so, you know, and that's where this real wisdom comes in that, you know, this divine feminine wisdom, this divine masculine wisdom as parents comes in where um, it's not all about love and light. It's not all about the molly coddling and the, and the caring and the nurturing. It's not all about the kindness and things. Sometimes it feels like you have to be a bit, it feels cruel, but it's actually kind because you, you um, through just kindness for, ch for a child, especially in this situation, you, you end up feeling like you've facilitated it. Maybe you have, to some extent, facilitated the ability to be able to even buy so much um, substance or, you know, to be able to have so much financial freedom to get themselves into this um, slippery trap that is easily, easily slipped into especially with all of the temptations around younger people, um, around everybody basically now. But, you know, the, there is this, um, this need for um, to be the authoritarian. Hey, this is Theodore. Um, to be the authoritarian and to um, be, it may feel like and on the surface look like a very cruel act of saying no you can't affect the rest of your siblings like this you can't affect your mom like this or your dad like this um you can't affect this or maybe even the living with other students and you know you, you need to step in before the uni steps in to say you can't live here like this you can't be affecting these people like this i, I, I keep seeing um a real sort of mania i want to say but it's um it's you know somebody's gotten too high basically they've one way or another they've they've seen things that haven't been happening they've maybe taken it out on the people around them um they've maybe even hurt themselves a bit you know um not not terribly but a bit enough for it to be this crushing wall that they've hit that everybody can see what's been going on now everybody can see how um deep in the hole this younger person has gotten. Um, there's no turning back. It's got to be transformative now um, through the living conditions, through the fact that you know you need to um, have something done about this to, to, to allow for freedom from this addiction um, and this risk taking. We have judgment there. So we have, you know, the home with the four of wands and we have judgment i'm just clarifying as i'm going along because you know it, it's not a nice situation especially i'm a parent it, it, it's uh, and my family's been affected by um substance abuse in one way or another you know so um it, it's not an easy situation oh, to deal with at all it's not something to be taken lightly and it's not something to be judgmental about it so easily happens now um, do you want those open? Sorry. Um, so there's this real need for you to step in and be um, be the parent and say, no, this has to stop one way or another. Um, I feel that you are um, co-parenting nicely, um, that, you, that you either are co-parenting nicely within yourself as a single parent, that you've got this real balance of divine feminine and divine masculine, that you're very capable of being um, both parents in this situation, of, of um, bringing in the balance of the, the nurturing of the divine feminine and the action of we're going to get something done with the divine masculine. Um, but what I want to say about the divine feminine is I always go back to Mark Ali. I love Mark Ali. And she's the Hindu goddess who, um, you know, saved the world by slaying the demonic egos, um, the illusions. She didn't see through the illusions the demons tried to put in front of her. Um, she slayed the egos and she made space and time 
um, for um, creation, for real, true, truthful creation, the beauty of true creation. And um, this young person, you know, well, let me finish off that first. Well, Mark Holly had said that, you know, if you're living within ego, um, within illusions, um, you, if Mark Holly looks upon you, you know, you're going to see a fierce goddess. Um, who's ready to slay you, <laughs> slay not you, but the ego around you, the egos that you've built up, the labels and the the illusions that you've built up around self. Um, but if you're living in your spiritual self, you know, you look into Mark Ali's eyes and you see the most compassionate, nurturing mother. Now, who's she's nurturing on both counts because like I've said before, you can't just be the love and light mother and father, you know, and um and, and covering them and you know controlling the narrative around them all the time and fixing things all the time you just can't do that and it's not actually kind to do that so i see mark Ali as the most nurturing on both counts and that energy of mark Ali has seen me through horrendous times um and at times my own mother embodying that energy where you know she's had to do what i see in this reading of being the firm no no this isn't going to continue this isn't going to last this way this has to change now um you know and at the time obviously I'm looking at her and thinking what it re I need a cuddle right now I need a kiss right now I need a, a, it's all going to be okay Jenny right now but no my mum knew that she needed to be the authoritarian and put her foot down and maybe let go of me a little bit and, and maybe say, you know, you, you made this mess, you clean it up kind of thing. And, and all of that has happened. Um, and I thank her for it because it, it, it did ultimately, in some circumstances, literally save my life. And in this circumstance, I feel this absolutely has the potential to, to be saving a youngster's life in your life. Um, or, you know, she, it, it made me grow, it made me learn from that behaviour and change the behaviour pattern, change the thought pattern um, and understand where I was going wrong much more clearer. Um, so, so yes, that's coming in and, you know, the generosity maybe with the finances, you know, he's maybe going to say no, that that's going to stop here, yeah, we're, we're not going to be doing that anymore. Um, there's definitely a victory with that there's definitely a victory showing up that you know this youngster is responsive to that and you do change the course of their path with those actions um and you know the the ten of swords this this will come to an end because of the actions you put in place here and um, because of the 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 foot down kind of action um and no more shit, no more um, illusion, no more lying. I can see right through it now and I'm not afraid to face it as a parent right now or as an uncle, as an aunt. Um, I'm not afraid to face it. And remember, we've got this, um, I think with this action, we've got this good um, friend of the this youngster in your life coming in or um, the, an existent friend that reappears, that you trust, that you can also, you know, it just helps your job a little bit to, to to give that balance, to be the parental role and for them to have the firm supportive friend there also that is of a very similar personality type but for whatever reason has that bit more wisdom, is a bit more balanced um, and often, you know, kids listen to their peers so much more, don't they, than parents. It's just the way it is. Um, I see more so you saying, no, okay, the, we're, we're going to step in and we're going to um, maybe rehab, put money into rehab because um, there's rest and recuperation for this youngster in your life. Um, and you know, Capricorns are great at, at embodying the Makali energy of um, they're not afraid of, you know, the darker um, side of life, the, the things that you can slip up on. And they don't seem, from, in my opinion and in my experience of the Capricorns, I know um, they do let go and move on from things um, very quickly and much more easier than, than a lot of other people that I know. Um, but they, 
that's not but it's still the ones that the capricorns i love and know they, they still have this capacity to grow from it though it's just they're very quick um transmuters that they, they transmute things quickly and and don't dwell and 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 you are embodying that if this reading resonates with you which is a very lucky youngster to have a parent an uncle or an aunt such as you um because it does it it does look like you've you changed the course of this youngster's life um it does look like it's, you put money into rehab or money appears maybe there's another family member who um earth sign maybe comes in and said let me pay for this respite let me pay for this um for this for this rehab um let me be part of giving this youngster a chance and you know everybody in the family sees this youngster as um they love them you know because they are lovely they are fun they are adventurous they've just slipped up they've just slipped up and and you know not quite realized what they were getting into and thought they were you know strong enough to yeah the, the, the mother the queen of pentacles coming in you've got the queen of pentacles three times so you know that mother coming in um and knowing what to do being poised for action nurturing in her firmness nurturing in her um non-tolerance of this you know being able to see it and but still having that compassion i feel that deep compassion that you have um and you know this isn't easy for you but you know you've obviously got this parenting thing down pat you know you're ticking all the boxes you know my mum is very like this and, and so i feel that energy and it's a lovely lovely energy to feel um and there should be more parents like you, to be honest, to, to face things rather than see things. So yeah, everything, two of, everything's earthy, grounded, two of pentacles, bringing everything into balance. Um, you have two, two of pentacles, you know, so building that firm foundation for this youngster in your life to really, um, to really build from and, um, grow from in their own nature, you know, learn from. Do you want those open? Sorry, <laughs> talking about parenting. Um, you know, the three of swords, you put in, putting an end to this pain. That's not to say that it's going to end quickly. There's a journey here. There's a, um, there's a, a need for um, letting go. There's a need for, um, you know, facing something that no parent wants to face, you know, if they don't have to. Um, and there is this need for, um, you know, maybe expelling the child from the, the family home for a time and, and putting your foot down and, and saying, no, it's rehab or out. And, you know, that feels rotten. And I can almost feel your heart squeezing as I'm saying that um, and mine squeezing for you in that it's such an uncomfortable place to be as a parent. But you've got this. You've got the wisdom to foresee, foretell and foreknow that this is the best, best thing you could do for this youngster in your life. So if that resonated with you, Capricorn, I hope it, it helped. I hope I gave you some peace and some guidance. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all of my details are in the drop box below. Um, I do realise this reading for a general reading was quite specific. Um, but there's many parents actually saying that there's many parents now going through this um, more than would like to admit um, that they're going through this with their with their children um, or with a loved one in the family. You know, um, it, it's been a real attack on society, you know, the way the way drugs have, have um, gotten in, uh, you know, the good drugs being cut out and the things that are really damaging to family life um, being sort of pushed in. So, you know, it, it happens, it happens, but you know, this is going to be okay. So you stay your beautiful, grounded, balanced, whole self. Um, I'm sending you so much love and so much courage. Not that you need it. You've got this. Um, keep checking in. I hope you subscribe. Um, I'll see you next month.